Hi guys. Okay, so I'm down in the gym here today and we're talking about chin-ups. So this is an exercise that a lot of people aspire to be able to do. They are hard, but once you get it, boy, do you ever feel strong and all of the work that you put in, um, you really reap the rewards. So the first thing before you start doing chin-ups is you, you really need to have a, a pretty strong level of fitness and strength to begin with. Um, they, the muscles that you want to focus on are the lats, actually. Um, obviously the arms, the shoulders, the biceps, uh, the chest, but, but the lats and the abs are probably the two biggest keys, um, at the abs in particular, because if the abs aren't, aren't strong enough, it's going to be hard to develop this, the strength in your extremities. So those are sort of the steps that you need to take first before you even start attempting these guys. Then once you're at that stage where you're feeling like, okay, I've been exercising and weight training for at least six months consistently, I would say then you might be uh, well on your way to at least dabbling in, in trying these guys. If they're frustrating, they take a really long time, and there's more to it than just strength. It's a connectivity within the body as well. And it's hard to explain, but it's sort of using everything all at once as one unit, being able to contract your, contract all your muscles at one time so that you can pull your, your entire body weight up. So it's practice, practice, practice. Once you get the first one under your belt, that's the, at least then you know what the feeling is like. And then to repeat that, it, it, I'm not going to say it gets easier, but at least then you know what you're striving towards. So one of my favorite things to do, um, my, one of my biggest tips in terms of how to develop the strength um, to do the, the chin-up is to actually do the negative. So normally what I would suggest is people use a chair or a stool or something like that, and you're going to pull yourself or push yourself up into the top of the chin Hold yourself there as long as you can, and then you're going to slowly lower yourself down. Take a break, give yourself a little bit of rest, shake it out, and then you're going to repeat. So this is very tiresome, <laughs> you'll find, and you may find that initially you can't hold yourself very long. That's okay, you just work at building and building and building, and eventually you'll get there. So I'll show, it, show you what I mean, okay? So you would step up onto something to pull yourself up. I don't have anything here, so I'm just going to bring myself up. So you're going to start here. This is your starting position. You're going to hold here as long as you can. And then as you tire, you're going to slowly, slowly, slowly drop down. But you want to use your strength to hold you in this position as long as you can. Okay? So then you take a break and then repeat. Oh, and it is a lot of work, but boy, does it ever feel good. It makes you feel real strong. So if you guys are working towards your first chin up or maybe a milestone of your first five or your first 10, or for some of you, even your first 15, send me an email. I love hearing updates and uh, I wish you guys uh, good luck with it and uh, definitely give this a go. It works. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.